welcome all of you to this video. Today in this video, we will understand trapezium, isosceles trapezium and properties of trapezium and isosceles trapezium. So far in geometry, we have come to know about polygons and type of polygons. Quadrilateral and angle sum property of a quadrilateral. Can you identify these figures? Well done! All these figures are quadrilaterals in which this yellow figure is a rectangle and the red figure is a square but we do not know about this pink figure. So let's come together today to know about this shape. If you notice, you will find that a pair of sides in this figure are parallel. Arrow marks indicate parallel lines. Let's see how we call them parallel. If we draw the perpendicular from the vertices of the shorter parallel side, then we will see that these perpendiculars are of equal length, that is, they have the same length, which is why this shape is called trapezium. In this figure, one pair of sides is parallel and the other pair is non-parallel. Can you now identify trapezium from these shapes? If we look at the blue figure, it is a quadrilateral in which a pair of sides is parallel. Hence, this figure is a trapezium. Let us now discuss this brown figure. In this, we see that no pair of sides is parallel. So, it will not be trapezium. In this green figure, we are given a pair of sides parallel. But if you notice that it is not just a quadrilateral, While we know from the definition of trapezium, a trapezium is a quadrilateral in which a pair of sides is parallel. Hence, this shape is not trapezium. This orange shape is a trapezium because we can see that a pair of sides in this quadrilateral is parallel. Hopefully, you will now be able to identify trapezium. Let us now discuss properties of trapezium. As we know from the definition of trapezium, a pair of sides in trapezium will always be parallel, which is its first property. We know from the previous video that the sum of the measurements of the four interior angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees and since the trapezium is also a quadrilateral then the sum of the measurements of the four interior angles of a trapezium will also be 360 degrees. Similarly, the sum of the measurements of the four exterior angles of the trapezium will always be 360 degrees. An important properties of trapezium is that the sum of adjacent angles on any side in a pair of non-parallel sides of a trapezium is 180 degrees. Let us now know about a special kind of a trapezium. If the non-parallel sides of a trapezium are of equal length, then such trapezium is called isosceles trapezium. 
A major feature of isosceles trapezium is that the adjacent angles formed on a side in pairs of parallel sides are always congruent. Therefore, in this trapezium, we can say that angle 1 will be equal to angle 2 and angle 3 will be equal to angle 4. Today in this video, we have learnt Meaning of trapezium Identifying trapezoid shapes Properties of trapezium Definition and Properties of isosceles trapezium In the next video, we will see some examples based on these.